welcome back to another video obviously there's been a lot of updates that has you know happened so far with this building and i haven't been able to share a lot of them because i've been busy with a lot of them but today's video is just going to be an update of some of the things that have been done being done or yet to be done so that uh, once i i show you everything then i'll get into details of them in a different video so as you can see uh, painting works has been done and uh, this is the outside part and the inside is actually finished so let's take a look at the inside and then once you're done come back outside and look at what's really going on outside so starting over here as a porch you notice that the metal gate has been installed and has been painted as well and once you walk in here this part has also been painted so this color is apple green which was bought from coral paints yeah so let me just be careful here so i don't say on my attire so and we have white used for the design blocks the ceiling is also done which looks very smooth yeah so this is the porch area and once i'm done and walking let me just turn on the light for this section so you notice that as i walk in yeah three colors that you see this is one to my left further down there's one and this is also one so this particular color is known as gray steel 2 which was also gotten from coral paint and that is natural calico which was also gotten from coral paint and then we have apple green the same color used in the porch now aside the paint um, the doors also has been installed the wooden doors let me just turn on the light for the space so here looks a little bit more bright yes so the doors has also been stored and painted so this has been painted with oil paint freshly painted yeah and then the kitchen cabinet had been installed but we we'll come in shortly and look at that so this is the door to the bathroom the door to the bedroom which has been stored now when we come in here to the kitchen area you notice that a cabinet has been installed with a worktop so this is a granite worktop uh, that is very solid and then we also have the sink also installed very functional yeah and then we have a cabinet at the top as well that was done with an mdf so this video is not going to be detailed the uh, subsequent videos will you know take you through the various parts the cost and everything now in the kitchen here we have two colors this is gray steel 2 and this is white so the idea for this part being painted gray steel 2 is because there's going to be a lot of activities here the chances of it getting dirty will be high so then decide to use a little bit darker color so that uh it won't be you know dirty and so we use that for this part as well so these two parts are uh, gray steel 2 and then we have white here and then white over there and then the ceiling is also white so that is basically for the kitchen area the cabinets here and then you have some drawers here so let's just go further here now walking through the corridor this particular side also was painted with gray steel too so the gray steel too start from here it goes all the way here comes here and then goes here and then here behind us as well so when you continue further down from here to the washroom area obviously the door has been installed and painted now the wc has been installed the basin has also been installed and then the cabinets beneath it and the worktop as well as the tap and we also have the shower let me just turn on the light for that part so uh just get a light right so we have the shower also installed for this part with the tap as well as the towel rail which has also been installed i must say that i did this installation over myself the wc the basin the tap the shower i did all the installation by myself so i have videos of them i will share with you and different videos and then the details the price and everything i'll do that too this is for the washroom area you notice that as i said the rough part was going to be skimmed and painted and as you can see looks really really smooth which i'm so excited about the um the look so far so yeah so this part has also been painted and that will be about it for this area now let's continue to the bedroom which has also been painted the color used here is the natural calico so the natural calico is used here and then part of the hall and as you can see this part is done the ceiling is also done the door is also painted so this space is actually ready uh, so that would be about it for the bedroom now you might be wondering why use three different colors for the hall 
the hall is going to be like the most used space in the entire house. A uh, lot of activities are going to take place over here. So that's how come we try to use different colors. Now, this the idea for this part is because we have a son who is you know very small and he just started working out so long ago. So there's going to be a lot of movement. It is hands all over the world. Right? So try to not get it so that you decide to use a different, like an off, uh, a darker color to do that. So that uh, once it's, and these are acrylic paints. So once it gets dirty, you can just clean them. And then this space, which is natural calico, is going to be the dining space as well as a little office. So that's my office desk over there. I have my chair and then I'm good. And then we'll have a small dining area over here now there's been an upgrade to the solar battery so we added two more batteries uh, this cage i made couldn't take four batteries so we have three batteries in it and we have one outside but i'll do another cage to house this as well or even a little bit bigger so in case we want to um, have more batteries we could have stacked them on top or maybe by side i um, yet to figure that out and it's really working very well excited about that so this is the inside. The paints are done here and everything is almost done here. So what is left to be done now is just to clean the space and we are good to go. So let me just uh, close the space. Okay, so I did the installation of tap as well as the sink myself, the granite. I did that with the help of my brother. So let me take you out and show you what has been done outside. So let me just turn off the lights from here. Walk through the porch and then outside we have a flower bed. We get to decide on what is going to be planted in it, which is painted. And then we have the outside also being painted. So this is the news. Color your friend is a uh, paint your friend is a news. Uh, news. So this is news and this is grey being used to paint the outside. So we have a top of Crack script, maybe I'll one. Yeah. Okay, so the outside is being painted. And the back. So the back, a lot of things has been done. The WC has been connected to the biodigester. And yeah, so we also have the water tank also installed over here. Now Initially wanted to go with a metal stud to house the water tank so that uh, we have some space on that. But I we um, think the whole idea decided to go with um, a concrete stand instead so that we can have some space under and keep a gas cylinder. So this space is going to keep the gas cylinder and this space is going to keep the water pump. We'll be having a gate in front of them so it can be locked so that yes, you can't just. Yeah, so this uh, provision has been made for the water pump so cable there which is going to be connected to the water pump and it will be turned on from the inside and then we have a water filter here now the idea was to directly connect this to the water filter, filter to the house but it looks like the pressure isn't so much enough so we need to add a booster that is how come we are going to be connecting the water pump so then i did this all plumbing all by myself so I use a union here so I can easily disconnect this, redo the configuration and then connect it back and then we are good to go. So this has, this uh, feeds the kitchen area, this particular tab. And then there's one here that goes to the bathroom area, which can also be closed at the back. So this is a stopper, you can close this as well. And then did the plumbing works connected to the fire digester. So I did this also all by myself. Yeah, I had a little assistance doing that day again, but aside that, I did all the plumbing over myself. We have two clean outs, which are somewhere behind, um, underneath here. One for the toilet, one for the um, waste water. So, uh, yeah, so that just in case there's any problem, we can open it and then check or maybe see how to go about that. And then after that, we spread the remaining of the stones around the entire house. Before doing that, we placed some of the black rubber just to prevent weeds from uh, you know um, coming out of the soil so we did that and I spread the remaining of the stones on that so this is the water tank the size is thousand liters the name is sumo 100 so this is by poly tank Ghana limited and I am really excited about the size it goes up but you know very slim and um, 
the, the width so which is also very nice now the idea for this this is not what is going to be the final one we're going to hold something around which is going to go around it to be able to hold it just in case there's a water this maybe strong wind or something it's able to secure it so this is just a temporary structure for that so this is basically what is happening around this space a vent has been installed for the wc and then the pipe goes all the way down to the biodigester so the biodigester has also been installed and it's functional the soak away also has been installed and then closed as well so i'll share more details of what went into the process the cost involved how we went about the installation and everything with you and yeah so that'll be basically just about it for this quick update if you've got any questions yeah, let me know if you've got any ideas or things that we can implement more you can let me know as well and if you like the painting also you can share it with me so that'll be just about it for this video thank you very much for watching bye for now